Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this will be my first video and we are doing a let's play on the Calamity mod in Terraria. Now, as some of you may know, if you are watching this, uh, Calamity has just released into 1.4. And just a couple months ago, it, uh, Calamity came out with Calamity 1.5, which has a bunch of new content. Most of you have already seen it already, but if you haven't, I would go somewhere else to look because I'm not going to be your greatest source of information. Um, the mods we're going to be using are Alchemist NPC Lite. Um, we won't be using auto fish that much because, you know, no one really fishes. The better boss health bar, the boss checklist, of course, Calamity mod, and its counterpart, the Calamity mod music. We're going to be using Town NPC Checklist, which is, you know, good all around mod just to know which NPCs are available to come in and which ones aren't. Um, Fargo Mutant mod, just to like, you know, cancel events, get some rare creatures if we need to. Hook stats and wing stats, uh, just to tell like which modded wings are the better modded wings. Um, magic storage, uh, if you don't play with magic storage, then you are a, we'll say masochist. You're just, I question your life choices. Um, max sag plus extra, don't know exactly why I have this in here, but we're doing it anyway. Or Excavator, if I didn't have this, it would be just a painful time. Recipe Browser, same th same case here with the Or Excavator, painful time. Shorter respawn time, again, less painful time. Unofficial Calamity Mod Music, uh, you know, just for more cleaner feel, more fun feel. And Wing Slot Extra, because, you know, we could always use that extra accessory slot. Um, so, this is how I choose to play my modded experience. Um, if you have a problem, uh, that's too bad for you. So, we're gonna get into this. I've already taken up most of your time. We are going to make a character here. I have no... Wow, it's laggy. Jeez, okay, hold on. I'll just stop being on that page. My bad. Uh, let's see. We're going to pick... Yeah, we'll pick this one. Uh, we'll go with the brown hair, dark brown hair. Um, we're gonna go with uh, red eyes to strike fear in the hearts of our enemies. Um, let's see, we're gonna be that, and then the shirt color. Ooh, man, what should I do for this? Um, like a good purple. It's the color of my favorite hoodie. Um, we'll go with the same purple as well here if we can find it. There we go. Um, I like to wear shorts. They're usually black shorts. Um, so we'll just go dark black like that. And then shoes. Um, I wear white Crocs, so, you know, nothing new there. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna see, maybe there's a different outfit we could use. Yeah, well, we'll use this one for now, and we'll create it. This is going to be a uh, bread lamp, because of course that is me. Great, now we have our... I messed it up. Okay, wait. We're going to redo that character, my bad. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, we have our character here. Bread lamp, of course. Um, I messed it up by putting it as journey mode. Uh, we do not want journey mode. So it would make our life easier, just, you know, not really fit for the let's play. Alright, so we're going to play, and we're going to make a new world, and we're going to call it, uh, Bread's Calamity World, no, we're just going to do Bread's Calamity, that sounds good. We're going to submit, we're going to make it a medium world, because why not, we're going to make it mm, expert mode. And we're gonna do Crimson because I haven't played Crimson in a while and we're just gonna go with it, I guess. Uh, make sure everything's right. Yep, let's go. All right. All right. Our world is available now. So here we go. We're gonna load in into our new world with Mr. Brian. Hi, Brian. How happy are you? Uh, he's homeless is how he's happy. That's great. Um, 
So, just like everyone in Calamity starts, we're going to open our starter bag. Gonna consume our mana crystal. Now, I haven't entirely decided which class I'm gonna play this, uh, this game. Um, although I've played Calamity twice before, I went with the Ranger class and the Rogue class. So, um, I'm not really feeling melee, uh, but I may go magic, uh, this time. Maybe. Ooh, that's a really nice drop. We just got a mythical Squirrel Squire staff. And try saying that five times fast, that's great. So we can put this guy down and he'll protect us while we chop our trees. Um, I'm leaning more towards magic instead of summoner. Uh, because summoner isn't really that involved in my opinion. Uh, but you know, everyone starts somewhere, so. Uh, I just like things that are more involved and more like aiming towards the bosses instead of just dodging because that's in my opinion that's boring and it takes away some of the fun of the game so we're just gonna chop down a couple trees here to get some wood and we're gonna make a house um my uh my terrary building skills are absolutely terrible so if uh if if it's terrible uh, just know I haven't had much practice. I'm terrible at building, but I'll try to build as much as I can. I'm gonna try to make a whole pylon network uh, this series. Uh, try to get every NPC their happiness correct. Um, the one thing I don't know though is the modded NPC happiness. Um, I know most of them like to live in the forest area. Uh, at least some of them do. Some of them don't like being near each other, which is kind of annoying because you know it would be. It's gonna be really nice to have them all clumped up together, but you know, you never know. Ah, yes, we're getting presents because uh, the Fargo's Mutant mod is. Here we are. Fargo's Mutant mod is allowing the Christmas season to be active. Um, I'm gonna turn this off for now because we don't need it. But um, we have all of these on here, uh, which I guess is gonna help us out a bit. So. Yeah. Let's continue chopping some trees. Alright, we've uh, finished our tree escapades. Um, now I'm gonna make a, a large flat area to hopefully build our house on and get our startup going. And then after, we probably go explore the left and right side of the world. Alright, we flatten this area. I'm gonna clean out. Ooh, white paper airplanes. Range damage. Huh. That's funny. Alright. Ooh, tungsten ore. That's not that much. Alright, I flatten this area here. Next, I'm going to set up the base of operations. Okay, we have built our house. It's not much so far. It only houses six NPCs. Um, but it's what we got just to survive the night. Because as you see out here, we've got multiple zombies. And they are not so friendly. So, we're just going to have this guy chip away at him for now. Um, oh, looks like I forgot some doors there. Whoops. Pop those in real fast. And we're done. So, now, uh, I guess really all we can do is probably start making our way down into the caves. That's, oh, yeah, I forgot to activate Revenge of Fire. Here we go. Now we have Rage and Adrenaline. I might have to make it inside the house. Or, I could just wait until morning. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait until morning. I'll see you guys when it is morning. Okay, so 
I've just gone ahead and decided to start making the elevator now. It's still nighttime, as you can see. There's zombies here. Uh, it's raining, but I got bored, so I'm just gonna start the elevator now. And we're just gonna keep going until we find a cave. These stone blocks will be good for my house, because I'm going to. I'm planning on implementing them into like the walls and maybe making a foundation with them. So hopefully it'll be good here. Uh, let's see, we found a little cave here, uh, with some sapphire crawlers that I don't think I can kill, but I might be able to. I mean, it's working so far. I might be able to get a hook, but I think these guys only dropped, like, a couple. Uh-oh. Now we're good. Okay, we have a chest here. You have a medicine step stool, that'll be fun. Uh, some grenades, tin bar, some rope, night owl, recall, and wooden arrows. The recall will be nice. Uh, but I think, okay, yeah, that's not fun. We're just gonna get out there real fast. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go for the one down there, cause that's, well, I mean, oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna go for the one down there, cause it's a little, I don't know, it's deep down in there, but if I put my squirrel down there, it might be able to get it. Alright, we got it. Let's go collect this, and then we'll be good. Great, awesome. Okay, so we have some Spelunker potions. I don't know if I'm going to use them yet, because it might just be a waste. Um, oh, we got our merchant. Yay. And the demolitionist. Nice. So, I guess all that's left to do is just keep digging. Oh, I might die here. It's, oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Give me a break. No. Oh, oh well. At least we have all our new guys here. Uh, we can talk to the squirrel to buy NPCs. We can talk to the uh, architect from the Arch what was it? Alchemist NPC mod to get building blocks. We have wood here, some, all of this stuff. Really helpful if you just want to build. Uh, it has you know basic furniture, all of this stuff. Torches, you know rainbow torch, bone torch, all of this. Um, merchant. Everyone knows about the merchant. He sells you some basic stuff like anvil. I'm kind of gonna need that later. Uh, here's the lumberjack. Um, he sells a pretty good axe, but I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna buy that. I might though. And then the militianist, of course, sells you bombs and stuff. Uh, but other than that, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I might actually go exploring to the left and right. So, I guess we'll see what we find, and hopefully it's something good, like a new weapon, or one of these guys. These guys are really helpful, because you can just, you can get uh, sets of weapons and armor from them. As you can see here, we have the wolf from armor set, um, it gets you a pickaxe, a fishing rod, a staff, a blade, some rogue knives. Uh, a bow, a summon weapon, all of that. There's a little cave here. I'm gonna go look in here to see if there's any chests. And hopefully a crimson, uh, crimson altar because I don't want to have to walk all that way. Alright, well there's nothing really down here I guess, so I guess we're going back up to the surface. So the first boss we're going to try to beat is going to be the Desert Scourge, of course. Um, so the first thing I want to get is, um, I'm not really going to focus on any classes right now uh, until later in the game, but I know a really good weapon to use is the Mandible Bow, and you get that by killing Antlion Mandibles, or no, Antlion Chargers in the underground desert. Ah, there's the crimson. 
We'll see. There is the hive cyst, or the perforator cyst, my bad. Something that will fight in the later game. Later. Oh, I just died to the thorns. That's great. Alright, well, so now we know what that way is. Uh, we're going to head to the right here, see if we can find anything better. We got a Wolfram battery here. This will be increased summon damage. That'll be good for our uh, squirrel sentry. Ooh, there's a chest in here. See what we get. An umbrella. Nice. Why is he chasing us? I don't like this. Get out. Ooh, some desert feathers. Uh, we could go for desert. Uh, desert. What was it? Uh, like something. The desert something armor. The desert prowler armor. It'll get some more range damage against the desert scourge. All we need is silk and some desert feathers. I think that's a good starting armor for desert scourge, which will be good. The wand is sparking, uh, fun, but probably not gonna have much use of it. Alright, uh, we'll go back to base. If I can find my recall potions. I really need to sort my inventory. There they are. Alright. I'm gonna get some chests up and running, because my inventory is pretty scattered right now. I guess I'm just gonna keep mining, and I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna die now. Yep, alright, well, that was stupid. Right, we're gonna do the sensible thing, and we're gonna put a rope down, uh, so that that doesn't happen again. And let's head down now, and hope that nothing happens. There we go. Right, let's clean up these pieces of rope that we don't need. And then we'll just keep digging down. Okay guys, uh, I finished mining. I didn't really find much, but it doesn't matter because this is going to be the end of the episode. I know this is kind of an uneventful first episode, but you know, it's calamity. It's not much to do in the beginning. Uh, but next episode, we're going to try and go find some more uh, Wolfram. And then we're going to make some new weapons and then try to kill some antlion chargers to get that mandible bow and eventually that'll lead to us getting the desert prowler armor set and then to getting the desert scourge defeated so hopefully we'll sort of set that up uh next episode and the episode after will hopefully be the desert scourge fight so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode i know it's been a boring one but whatever like and subscribe i'll see you guys next